Even all remarks here, back in another video, back again with a 360 degree video. And why am I doing a 360 degree video? Well, this is being filmed on the GoPro Fusion 360 degree camera. And if you're watching this in a VR headset, you can look around and look in every single direction and see me as I walk around. The GoPro Fusion is a premium consumer 360 camera. It runs for about 600 pound, uh, probably about the same in dollars. Um, but it's just had an upgrade. It used to film in 5.2K, it now films in 5.6K, but that's down res from 5.8K. So it actually does 5.8K in camera and then down reses it. So what I thought I'd do is quickly compare the quality of this to the other two cameras that are kind of in the same sort of price bracket or sort of competing cameras, which is the Vuz XR and the Insta360 ONE X. The, we'll switch those in a second so you can have a little look, but what I thought would uh, kind of run through kind of the, some of the things this camera does. So if you look around, how good is the quality? Can you see in the shadows? The sun is really bright, it's high in the sky, and it's hard to see. Let me have a little look at the stats here. So let's have a look what it says about the GoPro Fusion. It says it does 80 megapixel photos. So not the highest ones you can get, but pretty cool. It does do 3K 60 frames per second as well, which is quite good. Uh, so that's quite good quality. It's got inbuilt stabilization. So stabilization is really good. So if you're running around in 360 mode, sort of shaking the camera around, all sorts, it does do a brilliant job of stabilizing. Uh, it is also waterproof. So water resistant, waterproof, up to 16 feet, so five meters. And that is true. I've dropped this thing in a lake before when I went in fishing and it came out absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. So that's a big, big plus with this camera. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the other two. Uh, it's got voice control, so you can sort of tell it to do stuff like other GoPro cameras. Um, and what else has it got? It can also do over capture, but you can do that with any capture, any, any 360 camera, pretty much any way if you've got the right software for it. That's basically where you sort of crop in on the 360 sphere and pull out what essentially is a normal video. So that works really well. And because the GoPro is such good quality, it's probably one of the best cameras for doing that on. If you don't know or not, 360 cameras have a lens either side. So this side, that side, there's a lens. They capture the 180 degree sphere and then they stitch it together down the middle. So if we sort of get a little bit closer down this bit here, how good is the stitching? Is it messing up my face? It's meant to have optical flow stitching, which means rather than sort of just blurring the two lines together to make it match, it actually kind of tries to optically sort of match the, the bits together. So it should produce a better result. Let's just jump around the other side as well and into the sun. How good is this? I'm practically on the camera. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the GoPro Fusion. Uh, we'll jump now onto the Vuz XR, which is a slight different type of camera, but we'll go through that now. All right, so here we are on the Vuz XR camera. This is a 360 and VR 180 camera. So just like the GoPro Fusion, it does 360. It does 360 in 5.7K. So 0.1K more than the GoPro Fusion, but the GoPro Fusion has always been sort of known for its 360 quality. Uh, there is a difference between resolution and just general video quality, so it kind of comes down to lenses and bit rate and all that sort of stuff as well. So it's not a clear cut, more resolution equals better picture. But once again, have a little look around. What do you think? The, the highlights, the lowlights, can you see into the shadows? Can you, how much of the sun can you see? At the moment, it's super bright. Once again, I've lined up the lenses, so it should be kind of evenly exposed either side. It may be pretty, pretty bright on the one side. Let's just jump on the... Uh, Vu's website here and as it says it does VR 180 as well so you've seen some of my VR 180 videos where basically it flips out both lenses so they go flat and then you can film stereoscopic so 3D just the 180 sphere so just the one side in 3D in 5.7k as well so that's pretty cool. This camera also does 4k 60 frames per second that's just been added it was advertised as being a feature it took a little while to get there but it's there now it does 18 megapixel photos as well so the same as the gopro fusion um what else has it got it's got in-camera stitching which is useful if you kind of want to just run and gun and get stuff done uh, video stabilization as well i wouldn't say the stitching or the stabilization is as good as the gopro fusion not as my my experience but let's have a look so stitching here's me coming at the camera with the sun right in my face there we go, I'm super close. How good is that? And let's uh, move around the other side. And have a little look this side. Sun behind me, how well does the camera perform? Is it stitching? You let me know, how good is it? 
Um, what else has it got? It's got mobile phone apps and it's meant to live broadcast. No live broadcasting yet on Android. There is some functionality with, with um, iOS at the moment, so bear that in mind. You can't just live stream with the GoPro Fusion anyway, so you can't really compare those features. But uh, let me know what you think of the quality. The views, I think, isn't very good in 360. The quality from what I've experienced hasn't been very good. But what do you think? Compared to the GoPro, how does it look? It does look quite good in VR180, which I think is the main selling feature really of the, uh, the Vues really. If you're gonna buy it, it's $440 or about the same pounds, I think. Um, so uh, let me know what you think. It's obviously you know, probably the best part of 150 quid cheaper than the GoPro Fusion, but it depends what you want really. If you want VR180, this is probably the camera to get these days, but if you want 360, is it as good as the GoPro Fusion? Is the GoPro Fusion worth that little bit of extra money? Mm, I don't know. But let's move on to the Insta360 ONE X, which is still a relatively new camera as well. Uh, it costs about the same price as the Vues, I think they're 410 pounds or dollars. Uh, and let's compare them. So that'll be our final camera to check out. So here we go, here we have the Insta360 ONE X. The uh, 5.7K from Insta360. I do have the big daddy of this thing, the Insta360 Pro 2, which does 8K. We won't get into that, that's a completely different, different beast entirely. But uh, once again, this is all in auto. So I don't know if I said on the other, in the other videos, but they're all on auto, so the standard settings, nothing fancy, uh, just their sort of 5.7, 5.6K um, settings and just everything else on auto. So you can sort of see sort of, point and shoot wise, you know, how do they compare? Could I make it better by turning on certain settings? I probably could. Each camera has different things, like this one has iLog, um, the GoPro has RAW, the Vues doesn't really have anything else like that, you can hardly change anything on there, but, you know, it does other stuff. So what do you think? What do you think of the quality? Once again, look in the shadows, look in the light bits. Am I properly exposed when I walk around in front of the sun? Uh, what do you think of the overall quality? Let's jump into the the web page and have a little look about what Insta360 say about it. So as I say, 5.7K, 80 megapixel photos as well. So exactly the same megapixel photos as the other two cameras. It has what they call flow state stabilization, which Insta360 are probably best known for the, how good their stabilization are, is on their, their cameras. It has some of the best in the business. I mean, it's probably not much difference between the sort of GoPro and and this one, but uh, it's pretty, pretty close and it's pretty, pretty good. So uh, that's more sort of, if you were running gun with this or the GoPro and you're shaking around, they'd be rock, rock solid. Uh, and it steadies out sort of the entire 360 sphere. So it works really, really well. Really well. Um, cinematic slow motion. It does do, is it 3K 120 frames per second? Mm, I need to double check that. Let me just spin down to some of the other settings because it does what's called bullet time. Uh, where you can actually sort of spin the camera around above your, around your head and then it sort of reframes the shot in slow motion and it looks pretty cool. It's only 3K, um, but that's still pretty cool. And it does what's called uh, sort of over, over capture. They're the same like the GoPro where you can crop in, but you can crop in on any 360 photo or video even and make a normal one out of it. Uh, invisible selfie stick, which isn't, isn't really an out of feature. If you look down, you can't really see anything. Although I do have a battery plugged in at the moment, so that, bear that in mind. You'll probably see a little bit of that on this camera, maybe, uh, because the, the battery life on this thing is a, a bit, bit shocking sometimes. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's got HDR and stuff like that. And the GoPro's got RAW. Uh, as I say, the Vues doesn't really have anything. So what do you think about it? Let's check the stitching. So if I walk forward into it here, it's a little bit higher this time because I've got the little battery underneath it. How does that look? Let me walk around this side, get the sun behind me, and walk in as well. What do you think of the stitching? How good is the stitching? So as I say, it's got two lenses that has to kind of meld together to make a nice 360 sphere. But how good does it look? How good is the footage? How good do I look? How good does that tree look? Uh, let me know. So I'm also testing out a new microphone here. So I've got the little Insta mic here, which I got delivered the other day. Uh, so it's actually a little microphone, all built in, little recorder, all on its own. It's got a little woofy, woofy, little fluffy, uh, sort of uh, windbreaker on it, because it is cold and windy out here. If you can't tell by me holding my hands and trying to warm myself up. Uh, let me know what you kind of think about these cameras. Do you want to see some more stuff? Do you want me to dive deeper into any of these cameras? Maybe recommend what I think is the best 360 camera? Um, let me know. Um, I've got pretty much all of them. <laughs> I'm a bit of a hoarder for 360 cameras. Um, and it's something I would like to do more of on the channel, but that depends if you guys are interested. If you're not interested in it, I won't do it. But if you guys like it, 
and you like this video, uh, let me know what you think down below. Um, I will probably do more VR 180 stuff from the views because that's just fun. It's, it works quite well in the Oculus Go headset. The 360 does stuff does as well. So just let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll have a little look at the footage when I get back. Um, I'll probably put my comments in the notes down below about which one I think is the best, any thoughts I've got. Um, but let me know what you think down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know down below why you didn't, and I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual 360 high five.